Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 50-Day Property Challenge. It's been an awesome ride so far. We are now already, oh, we're almost at the end of week eight, um, which means we only have two more weeks to go. Uh, today, we're catching up with Jared. Talk about, uh, hey, Jared. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about his progress again. Uh, he's been really busy, uh, not only um, on the uh, challenge itself, but also extremely busy um, in his life, uh, being called up to a number of gigs, which is yeah. great at this time, you know, after such a long period when nothing was happening, um, all of a sudden uh, you're busy and I'm very glad for you, Jared, that you are you. so busy now. Um, but yeah, that's kept you uh, sort of uh, almost, um, it's, it's been difficult for you to actually uh, partake in this 50 day challenge because you've it's been, been so a, busy and you've, you've yeah, been really no, gracious. And I thank you for that in terms no of problem. the time that you've given us, uh, despite your, no. your extremely busy schedule. Mm -hmm. No, it's been a challenge, not just a 50 day challenge. I think for everybody, you know, now that things have opened up a bit more, there are a lot more business opportunities, which is great, which means we accumulate more funds to be able to invest in property. So, um, it's been it's been a uh, a busy time, but I've been sure to to allocate a few hours at least to to focusing on the portfolio and what I want to do next. Fantastic! Look, I mean, at the end of the day, when we invest in property, it's not about necessarily. Um, and uh, we've had conversations about some of our students who are binge watching the videos and they are um, deciding to do this full time as property investors. Most of us don't have the luxury, unfortunately. To, mm -hmm. uh, to become full-time property investors because we need to pay the bills. We need to buy food. We need to pay uh, our own bonds or, or rent if we're renting somewhere. Um, and some of us have kids and so on. So we don't have the luxury, unfortunately, of becoming full-time property investors yet. Um, so mm -hmm. we, we have busy lives and we want to do all of that. Thing. But at the end of the day, building a property portfolio is about legacy. It's about building a pension fund for yourself that you're in control of, that you manage, and that has the capacity to not only bring you an income monthly, but also give you the growth potential of property. And that's really the reason why we are doing all of this and why we are doing the 50 day challenge, in fact, to help the public see that it is possible. Yes, I'm looking forward to, to um, further unpeeling this, this whole journey and, um, like I said, for me, it's been an interesting process because as we discussed the previous time that, that um, you know, I've been looking at it as a specific property and I've shared some deeper interest and um, I do have some news for you. So I'm looking okay, forward to okay, sharing. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like news. I like news. Okay, so yes. let's get straight into it then. Um, so I assume that's news on your uh, impending transfer. What's going on? So yeah. the property is... On prep and hey, hey. Um, you know yes so through various discussions with you knowing that it takes about five days um i'm looking forward to just seeing everything uh, solidify and be done and um I'm, I'm quite excited i must admit it's 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 still scary but but it's a good start for me and so um, i'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of this portfolio sort of pieces together eventually that is, oh, wow, that's phenomenal. So the last <laughs> time, we, about two weeks ago, I think it was, we spoke about your the fact that you had purchased and that you had the money because you got some investors in and you, um, you then uh, put in the offer and they were subject to nothing. So at the end of the day, they could immediately start the transfer process. And that helps a great deal because there's only one process to follow. It's the actual transfer um, yeah. and not also the bond process. So it's been about two weeks, I think, if I'm not mistaken, just over two weeks. And now it's on prep, which means that within the next five working days or so, if nothing goes wrong, because sometimes yeah. things go wrong, then chances are you most likely by next week sometime will have ownership of your first property. I am yeah. so, so very happy for you and very proud Thank you. that we as the EDPF could have been part of that. No, listen, I'm very excited. And of course, it's due to the knowledge that we received and that I received. And um, just the encouragement, I think it's great because uh, obviously before I haven't really surrounded myself with people who are in these type of conversations. Yeah. And so 
the EDPF community does help you sort of become a lot more affair with, with knowledge on, on property development, but also just to surround yourself with people who you can converse with on this level. I think it's always important to surround yourself with the people that you want to be like, that you aspire to, or people that are sort of on the same um, path, yeah, you know, yeah. because they put your heads together and do great things. So I'm, I'm very excited. Fantastic. All right, so that, oh, wow, man, that's amazing. Okay, so the second thing that we're going to chat about today, you've also said that you've got another property, I think you said in the Karoo or something that you're looking at. Um, yeah, just like <laughs> something to, to I've, I've just been looking outside of my usual um, search patterns just yes, to see okay. what I'm doing. But of course, when looking at spaces like that, it's about understanding why you're wanting to purchase there and having sort of a, a really well pl plotted out uh, journey and plan for the property so i'm still looking around um you know i've always just aspired to have a big piece of land somewhere up up mm -hmm. country uh, just because i think you can do a lot with it and it's always good to have land as well outside of a fixed property a house or a flat yeah yeah absolutely it develops in the country you never know when they might need that land and somebody could buy you out or yeah i don't know so i'm so i'm uh, still on the search I haven't found that exact property. There was one that I was interested in. I'm still waiting for more information on that. Mm. Um, it's I like that one because it's an historical kind of monument to the to the area and um, has a rich history um, from the Anglo Boer War. Yeah, um, and it would be cool to to own something that has that kind of history because what that means for tourism and people staying there. It's, it's, it's a nice value add, you know, to have a, a property with a story that people might be interested in. But you know, I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Listen, um, I'm fresh in this game, so I don't want to yeah. just dive in and, and, and go crazy. But I am mm. searching for there are some nice new developments, one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartments in the yes. Pinelands. And so um, I'll be looking at that because it's obviously a lot cheaper mm. and a lot more amenities that come with that uh, because yeah. it's a, uh, it's a community kind of that they're building, not just a complex. So there'll be new shops and new gyms mm. um, kind of thing. And so for a younger person who wants to rent somewhere, I think that's a lot more appealing. Mm. And so I'm split between the kind of market that I want to attract with the property in terms of what I want to do with it. Yeah. So uh, a lot more scribbling on my notebook to see <laughs> where I'm headed. But nevertheless, it's still on. The search is still on. So... I tell you what, I've actually got three opportunities that may interest you. It's not exactly okay. in line with your thinking on the Airbnb side, but uh -huh. potentially on a fixed rental kind of where you have um, a fixed tenant for a year or two um, and, and roll that over over a period of time. So there's mm -hmm. one opportunity that was brought to us in the Kenilworth area for just on a million rand. Oh, wow. Uh, two bedroom unit, um, really well priced. Uh, very nice um, uh, fixtures and fittings and so on. Uh, maybe need a little bit of work, but it probably won't cost more than like 30 or 50,000 Rand to do okay. maybe a, a new uh, bathroom uh, tiling and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. it, it does look like a pretty decent option. Um, I, mean, I, will, I will send you the video of it. Um, one of Please the do. agents, yeah, one of the agents that uh, work with us, England Focus have um, uh, have that in fact the <laughs> the funny thing about it is that the um, the agent is actually a student in the EDBF program so oh, wow. <laughs> so that's how she brings us opportunities so I'm gonna send you that one and then I've also got a thing called the one uh, w y n n e Mm -hmm. They've got opportunities where um, we as EDPF um, and our students have discounted, uh, they've given us a discount on the sale of the property. Um, so anybody who's an EDPF student will be able to get this particular discount on their, um, on their property. And then on top of that, it's also in an urban development zone. Now, urban development zones, what those are, is that government has given these tax incentives when you buy in an urban development zone or you build in an urban development zone a new complex or you do a, a big revamp, then you can write off 55% of your cost of purchasing that property over a period, I think, of I think between 10 and 20 years. I'm not sure what the exact period is, but you can write off 55% 
of That's you. the cost. Now, effectively, what, what that means is that the receiver is funding you 55% of, yes. your, of the cost of your, of, your, of your apartment. So instead of paying 595, which is the, the one um, two bedroom, uh, sorry, no, it's not a two bedroom, it's a bachelor's unit, um, or sorry, a one bedroom unit that most of our students are looking at, Instead of paying five ninety five, you're getting a, a nice discount there. I think it ends up being like five fifty, and then on top of that, with a fifty five percent incentive over a period of twenty years, you can write off fifty five percent against your income tax, which means that you you don't pay um, any tax for a good couple of years. Yeah. And I see a doubling. Uh, Matt Alice joining us, so let me just admit her into the room quickly. But yeah, that's that's an opportunity. It's the one in. Um, in uh, uh, sort of the Paro area, uh, down yeah. Fortrecker Road. And I mean, that's a growing area down that corridor, the Fortrecker Corridor is a massively growing area and there's you know, huge demand there. So, so there's like an opportunity. Um, I'm friends with the developer there. Uh, Please do. Yeah, I'll send you that one. And then there's, um, there was another one that came across my desk, which, um, so it's the one from uh, the, Clem the Kenilworth one, the one in Paro. And then we also have an opportunity that the Development Bank of South Africa has brought to us, where we want to put a couple of students into a consortium, uh, what mm -hmm. they call a special purpose vehicle. And I'll send you some information on that. You may be interested in that one as well, because that is for social housing and student accommodation, where, where they are saying that possibly they can fund the entire thing. If, you, if the students bring their sweat equity, their time, their energy, um, and their expertise um, to the project, then they will take that as their equity. Uh, so they call it sweat equity um, yes. into the project as opposed to putting cash in. So that's another way that I maybe didn't say about, um, we, you know, remember that time we spoke about uh, how do you raise capital? One of the right. ways is to put in sweat equity. And this is, yes. an this is an opportunity that the Development Bank has brought to us. So, yes. so there's some really nice opportunities that um, because you are on the program um, and you still have three more years to go, we can yes. definitely look at that option as well. Yes. But I'll send you all of those. And um, hopefully before the end of this 50 days, you'll make a decision on which one to go for. And then we'll yes. take the process further. Okay. Please. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Fantastic, man. Hey there, Matt How are you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm so I'm just hey. trying to reconnect my camera. No problem. I'm just going to say goodbye to Jared because uh, he unfortunately only had half an hour for us. So, yeah. uh, Jared, thank you very much for your time. We will see you again next week, hopefully, with yes. that good news <laughs> of the transfer. Yes. And then, uh, then the following week, we will wrap up completely um, for the 50 days. But We'll still walk a nice long journey with you that hopefully before you are done in this program by 2024, that you will have a portfolio, hopefully of about 5 million or even more. That's what I'm hoping for you before I'm you down. leave this program. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. All right, awesome. Jared, thank you very, very much for your time. We'll see you again All right. shortly. Okay. Thank you, Meta. Cool. Hey there, Tabaleng. Hi, Matt. How are you Hi. doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you, Nigel? It's been a while. Yeah, no, there's been a couple of <laughs> days. <Yeah. laughs> Fortunately, Jared has been, uh, he's given us some time over the last couple of days. And uh, okay. um, if you haven't seen uh, a couple of weeks ago, he, I'm not sure if you were in that session, but he actually... Um, has bought his first property, got some funds available uh, through friends and family, and uh, they could buy the property cash. And uh, they, he just told me now that he's actually, the properties come up on prep, um, which uh, if you watched, uh, you know, that video that we did with, um, with the, if the public has watched that video that we did with Mayer, um, that's the last stage of transfer. Uh, and normally it takes about five days from the date it comes up on prep, before the transfer actually goes through. So we're hoping that next week, um, he will be able to uh, take transfer. That'll be phenomenal. But anyway, Matt Al, um, I believe you've had some, some uh, uh, problems with your arm. So that's why we, yeah, we couldn't chat. Trying to hide it, yeah. 
<laughs> no need to hide things here. We are with a family. We all want to know what's going on in your life. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm slowly in recovery. I only had um, the procedure done last week, Friday. So okay. taking okay. it. Um, I only started driving two days ago. Um, so I'm just getting back on my feet with things. But I, luckily, it's my left and I'm right-handed. So I can still do some stuff. All right. Okay. So I'm not going to keep you too long um, for this session. I just want to quickly catch up with you and see, you know, I know that the last couple of days have been awful because of your arm. But other than that, you know, prior to that, you were busy looking at about eight different uh, units. Um, and I really just want to catch up with you for the session on that. And then once we've done that, we can then talk about some other stuff um, at the later stage. But for now, um, where are you at with those eight units? Have you narrowed them down? Have you made a decision? What's going on? Yeah, I, na I had narrowed them down to four. And then fortunately, I lost one already. I think it was a cash buy or something like that. So, because the other, the, I had the eight, I had gone to V. In the, in the four that I had, I had viewed the three, but one of them I've already lost to another, I don't know, maybe the offer was done a while ago or something, or it was a cash buy. So of my new top three, I've only viewed two, but there's just one more that I'm left to view. Because um, the other one that I had gone to, yeah, wasn't really up to scratch in terms of what I thought. So that's why it's always good to go view a place because the pictures I think were done. Maybe when the place was fairly new, it, it looks a bit run down now. It's had a couple of tenants, I'm sure, over the years. So I don't think the, the agent refreshed the images because it looked quite different. So I wasn't happy with that. So I completely scratched it out. So now I have this top three that I'm left with. And I think it's just a matter of, especially having had the session last time with EPSA, I think now I'm just ready to, yeah, make my offer. So I've just been gathering all the documents that I'm going to need. Obviously I got a bit slowed down, but there's a few stuff I need to send through. So I just needed to gather that on my side, especially some financial statements, because I will be proceeding with this property um, under my company as opposed to privately because the other two are already on my name. Yeah, so just to refresh the memory of the public, um, so the discussion with Adi at Absa Bank was that uh, because you'd already purchased two properties, they'd be able to come in uh, and fund the third property on the basis of their the very unique product that they have called the future rental income product. So if you didn't have enough cash flow, if you didn't have enough rental from your other properties, you'd be able to then utilize their product called the future rental income product in order to capitalize and purchase the third property. So it's almost a shoe in that uh, you'd be able to get the funding from Absa Bank on this uh, third property that you want to buy. Hopefully I get a good rate. <laughs> Listen, That's awesome. You're, a, you're an EDPF <laughs> candidate. One of, one of the things that the beauty of being an EDPF candidate is the fact that we can leverage the bulk buying power um, to get, for example, uh, better insurance rates, better interest rates, uh, better rates from service providers like architects, quantity surveyors, and so on. Uh, free access to Lightstone and TPN and all those kinds of things. So there is definitely an advantage to be part of the EDPF program because if you weren't, number one, you wouldn't even have known about the APSA product. So there, there absolutely is that advantage. Okay, so um, I think, in Tabling, um, let's talk about those three projects then. And let's see um, and go through them and see whether which one of them would be feasible uh, to do. And uh, maybe I can help you make a, a decision. Um, you know, uh, somebody, somebody reminded me of a saying last week, um, we buy property not with our hearts, we buy it with a calculator. <laughs> oh, it was Maya that said it like, yeah, a couple of days ago. Maya said it in, in a session. Um, yeah, we, and that's the thing. As an investor, you don't buy property with your heart. You, when you look at a property, all oh, this looks beautiful, whatever. In fact, actually, I prefer to buy ugly properties, properties that nobody else will want to buy. 
because that gives you the opportunity to negotiate a better price, yes. fix it up to the, to the standard that you want, and then be able to either sell it at a better, at a better price or um, rent it out at a higher price. So, yeah. so I'm always out looking for the bad properties, not the good ones. Um, but as Maya said, the, as an investor, you buy with a calculator, not your heart. As a, a person looking for a place to live, you buy with your heart, not the calculator. So uh, de depending on what your, your um, thought process is for the property, if you're an investor, which you are, you're buying with a calculator. So let's pull out our calculator and let's work on those three um, units. So let's look at unit number one. What's the purchase price for that unit and which area is it in? That unit is, it's going for 420. Okay. Um, it's a two bedroom. Okay. Uh, it also has a very spacious lounge area. Um, okay. It has a bathroom. Uh, bath and shower, separate toilet, which I like. It's a one and a half, so meaning there's a toilet in the bathroom and a toilet separate. Okay. Uh, and it's about 78 square meters. That's a good size. Yeah. It's, and then, so currently in the area for a two bedroom in Arcadia, you're looking at an estimated rental of about 7,000. Right. That's okay, so just uh, let me can see up. it. The private property. Okay, so um, um, it's like idea. And we're looking for a two bedroom. Share so, that. So the, um, yeah. Rental. So I've now I've gone to the private property website. I've clicked on rent, um, and I'm now filtering price from say five thousand to um, say fifteen thousand. Um, you remember Ben taught us always to go above what we think <laughs> because we don't wanna we don't wanna miss opportunity maybe after you know after our cutoff. Um, and then we don't wanna go house, we only wanna go flats uh, and apartments, no land, no farms, no townhouses, no clusters, and we wanna go two bedrooms plus how many bathrooms did you say? One and a half. Okay, so let's call it two then. Uh, garages? Uh, garages, let me remember. It had one covered parking. Okay, and one, then okay. I, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. actually, and no, there's uh, garages, there's, any but one covered parking. Okay. Um, and yeah, okay. So that's enough in terms of the filter. So let's apply the filters. So well, there are six properties. There's a three bedroom for 8,000, two bedroom for 87, mm -hmm. a yeah. two bedroom for 8,950, a two yeah. bedroom for 9,000, a two bedroom for 72, a two bedroom for 88. So, roughly in the eight to 9,000 range is where you can, where you can rent your, your property. So, let, okay, we, let's put a stop to that. So, basically, you, you're saying that the property is how much? Four, 400, 420. 420, yeah. Okay. That's the ask. asking price. So let's say you can secure the thing for 400,000. And uh, yeah. so the legal costs, let's say there's another uh, 30,000 that you have to pay there. So it ends up costing you 430. All right. Mm. Um, now let's assume you don't have any deposit. Let's assume it's a 100% bond and you, you only will then pay the legal fees. So the bond's going to be 400,000 and on a bond of 400,000 and again, let's quickly go to the, I should have just stayed there. <laughs> let's go to the private property app again. And let's see about a bond. So bond, let's click on bond calculator. So you can do everything on the private property app, which is fantastic. Um, actually, let's just Google, sorry. Uh, bond calculator private property, okay, here we go, bond repayment calculator. So it's 400, deposit zero, and let's say, let's say they give you prime plus one. So make it 8.75 over 20 years, calculate. So your bond repayment is going to be 3,471 rand. Um, did, the, did, you feel, did you ask how much the levies are there? Um, the levies, they are going for, 
I actually have it. I, I'm, let me just open my journal because I have all their okay, numbers. Cool. Fantastic. Um, the ladies for this one are 1. 1.6. 1. 1.6, so that's uh, 4, 6, that's 5,000 rand uh, total cost. And let's say the, the rates are about 500 rand. It's going to be a lot less than that. But let's yeah. just say, so that right. means, yeah, sorry? Be 250 300 already on another 300 okay let's call it 300 then okay so your total cost um three and a half plus one six it's five plus 300 that's 5300 rand is your total cash output on a monthly basis if your rental is even at the lowest of 7200 that we saw you're already cash flow positive i went in on that deal let's do that deal together Let's it's get that nice. deal done together. It's a nice deal. That's, I mean, even if it's a, in terrible condition, you can spit in a polish, put some new tiles in, spend another 30 or 40,000 rand on it. But as well, this unit is fully tiled. Um, I think it was recently painted as well. So there's quite minimal work there. The only thing that I saw that I might need to do is potentially get a new stove for okay. the unit. Okay, and that's normally about four and a half, five thousand rand. So that's not a huge cost uh, towards the thing. So I would say this is definitely. I mean, you're already there. You'll be cash flow positive by about that's what we say five three. Um, yeah. So uh, eight thousand minus five three, you'll easily be able to make two thousand seven hundred rand profit on that deal every single month. In fact, that's cash flow, not profit. Your profits are even higher because your bond has a capital portion to it. So definitely that's a deal to do. The second deal, what's which area is that one in? Um, also the same area. Also okay, yeah, okay. Also two bedroom? No, this one is a two and a half. Okay, so, okay. Um, pretty much the same. Uh, this one is priced for... For 4.25 actually. Okay, okay. So you could even do the same deal on this one and make a thousand yeah. extra income. The deals, the properties I've found are like pretty much almost the same spec, you know, they're not okay. too far. Yeah. Um, All right. And are, the, are these properties already let or are they, do you still have to find the tenant? Um, two. My top two are already let. And it's tenants that have stayed there for quite some time. So they're also happy to continue staying there. But obviously, I'd create a new lease agreement for them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I tell you what. Doubling. Matt L. Yes. Let's do both deals. Why the hell not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's do both deals. Let's go in. Let's go make an offer on both deals. And uh, we'll get the funding from Epson. Hmm. I'm being serious. I'm not even joking. Let's do no, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I tell you what, I'm actually going to stop this conversation now. And we, you're going to use the rest of the time that we had allocated to make those two phone calls and say to the agents that we are ready to make those offers. And then let's get the offers in before the end of this week. Follow our journey, 50-day property challenge with private property and enterprise development property fund and the EDPF Property Academy. Watch all the videos between myself, Jared, and Matt L over the last uh, eight weeks that we've been at this now um, and for the next two weeks to come as we close off the 50-day challenge. But don't just watch. Implement what we are teaching you. And you too can become a property investor. So thank you very much, Matt. Thank you to the public. Thank you to private property. We'll see you again very soon.